In this module, we are going to learn about some basic Excel functions like sum, average, max, min, count and counting. Now sum returns the sum of the arguments. Average returns the average or the arithmetic mean of the argument. Max returns the largest number in a set of values which we need to pass as an argument. Minimum returns the smallest number in a set of values as we pass in the argument. Count returns the count of number in a set of values. So count will only count the number. So if anything other than number, count is unable to count. However, if you want to count numbers as well as other items like uh, names and special characters and all those stuff, then you have to use count A. So let's see how this works and how we are able to add, find average, find the max, min, count and count A in Excel. So we'll go to the sum sheet here, the sheet which has the name sum. And if you look into the sheet, you'll find that it has an invoice. Now it's a very small one though, but uh, here we are going to find out the total of the invoice. So we have each items here, uniquely identified by this item ID, item name, the rate per unit, unit sold and the total. Now the total is nothing but the product of your rate per unit into unit and that is for all. And your purpose here is to find out the sum of the invoice. So to find the sum of the invoice, we have multiple ways of doing it in Excel. Now one of the ways, the shortcut ways or the easiest way is to go to the home tab in the ribbon and there is something called as the auto sum. So we select the cell where you want to display the summation and then we will click on the auto sum. So the moment I click on the auto sum, you'll see that a function is generated automatically or added or inserted into the cell with an equal to sign. All functions in a cell, if you're writing a function in a cell, it should start with an equal to sign. So all functions or formulas should start with equal. Then the name of the function, then a starting parenthesis and the cells which you want to select in that argument and then close the parenthesis. So here this function sum is going to sum up the values of these numbers in the range E7 to E11. After the parenthesis, we can just select enter and here it is, your invoice total. So that is one way of doing that. The other way is that you can type it yourself. For example, you can just say equal to and then say S and then U and then M and the sum comes and you can press on tab so it goes at the top and then you have the starting parenthesis so you don't need to do anything you just need to select the cell close the parenthesis and say enter so same thing but this time I'm not using the service of this function or this button but rather I'm typing it on my own so these are the two ways in which you can do it faster. So if you already know the function, you can type it directly. How do we then find the average of this invoice? We'll go to this sheet, which is having the name average. Select the cell, which where I want to show the average. Same invoice. Here I want to find the average of this total. So you just need to go here, click on the average. And it now has the average functions with the parentheses and it already selects the data for you. You just need to press enter. Very simple, very easy. Similarly, you can type on your own as well. You can backspace, say equal to average. And then you can use the down arrow to select your average and press tab. And that average function will go and get inserted into the cell. Then what you can do is you can select the cells which you want that an average to be done. Close the parenthesis and say enter. So this way your average is done.
then we can similarly also do the max now here in this invoice we find want to find out the costliest item in our invoice now to find out the costliest item in our invoice we will find the maximum rate per unit so i have to do what similarly i have to select to the cell where i want to display that highest or the costliest item and then i click on the sum and here we have the max function i'll select that max function and uh, automatically it gets selected with the max function name of the function is max and the cells which needs to be selected and enter will give me the costliest item in my invoice which is toothbrush which is whose rate is 12.90 dollar per item or per toothbrush okay of course we can also do this we can go here and is equal to max tab select these cells close my parenthesis and say enter let me teach you another way of you know inserting functions so this was one way we click here and another way was we type there's another way called insert but in the insert you are sorry in the formula tab so sorry we have the in the formula tab we have the insert function so also here we have the auto sum we have functions categorized by uh, uh, have broken down or divided by category and we can also find this in the insert function so when you click on the insert function you will get that insert function palette okay from there you can pick up any one of your choice like for example in all you'll find the all the functions in financials you'll find all the functions related to financials similarly for date and time math statistical so in the statistical you will find you know max and min function so from here also i can select max so i can go here the first and i can press m i'll get to all the m and then here i will select max and say okay and then it gives me this function argument palette so i don't need to type anything in the cell i have this palette where i need to put everything so here i'll just delete and again do the selection refresh okay and then say okay so i'll get the same thing so this is another way of doing it by using the function palette min function very simple we have to go to the home tab or you can click here in the formulas you again have the auto sum and you have the min and you get the min function here c7 to c11 press enter and you get the one with the cheapest rate per unit which is nothing but 2.99 and that is my shampoo okay now we get to count functions now as i was telling you that count function counts the numbers so here if you look in the total these are all numbers and therefore this cells if i use count to count this i'll be able to count it right so i'll use equal to count or what i can do here is i can select this cell and again use the auto sum and if i don't find it okay i find count numbers here so count numbers so count numbers are nothing but count function right and then it selects all the cells and say enter so it tells me 5 so the number of items in this invoice is 5 of course you can count it as well 1 2 3 4 5 but since it's a small invoice please remember that if you have a huge set of data manually counting would be a cumbersome job hence we use this function okay let's just go to the next function which is counting now what is the difference now for example if i try to find out or count my number of items in the invoice by using the count function on this column that is item name then what will be the output let us see if i say is equal to or you can say click and then say auto sum more functions because this count is not there and again opens this i go to all and say and here is a count and look for count 
So this is the count A. Right? So okay, I'll use count first and just show you the difference. So I'll use count and say OK. And then I'll select this cell here. Now what should be the output? Because count basically counts the numbers. But these are not numbers. These are names. Let's see. OK. Zero. It's unable to uh, count it. Because using count, you can only count numbers. So what we should do? We can use count A. So you can actually go and simply add count A here. Right? And say enter. And you will get 5. Which means that count A is able to count the strings or names. Can count also count numbers? Let's see here. If I use count A here, if I use count A and then count this, let me see what happens. It says $5. Okay, it's not should be $5 because it takes the formatting from the top. So right click, go to the format cell and make it general. So it's 5. So 5. So it seems that count A does both. It counts the numbers as well as name. Right? So here that's the difference between count and count A. So remember that if you want to just count the numbers and you want to ignore texts, then of course please use count uh, function and not count A. Because count A is going to count both numbers as well as text. Okay? So these are the functions we have covered in this module.